Hi everyone. Imagine for a moment that you want to deploy one application in a Kubernetes environment that is not created yet. At this point is when you start to think if Kubernetes is a good idea for only one deployment. You are going to create at least three masters and a minimum of three workers. You need to set up the network, maintenances, work pools, issues. As an option, you can go to GKE or EKS. But at the same time, you need to deploy a complete infrastructure for a simple application. And you're going to talk with your infrastructure team and your SRE team about that. At this point, most of the people that are currently in the cloud will start to check Cloud Run or ECS. But Cloud Run only work with HTTP and ECS is an AWS specific. So any of those is a current solution for our problem. But like most of the problems, this problem has a solution. And this solution is in Google and it's called GKE Autopilot. In a standard GKE, Google will take care of your master nodes that are working inside a private VPC. But in GKE Autopilot, Google will take care of your workers too. And then you only need to have an entry to a Kubernetes API where you will deploy your application. As you will see, the steps are few and simple. You need to go to GKE in your Google console and create a GKE cluster that in this case will be autopilot. Set up your public or private VPC that you want to use and the ranges for the services and pods and the Kubernetes version. And that's all, nothing else. Now we need to connect to the cluster with GCloud CLI. And after that, as you will see, we only need to apply our templates. Now when you execute kubectl apply, you are not only deploying your application, you are even setting up your application with the workload identity, auto scaling, security setup, and everything. And everything is done automatically. As you can see, if you execute kubectl get pods minus w, it's going to take more or less one minute to start to create the cluster. And this is only the first time, because what it's doing is deploying the workers and the masters and is assigning the size that you decide we can say bye-bye to the control plane and the workers. And it's true that there are many limitations in the GKE autopilot, like the lack of external IP in the private cluster that avoid the inbound connectivity directly. There is no SSH to anything because you don't control anything. There is no external monitoring tools and etc. But at the end, this solution is valid in some cases. And the good thing is that the billing is based on your pod consumption and not anymore on your workers. So you know, now you have one more option for your next Kubernetes cluster. I'm Pablo Inigo, don't forget to like and please subscribe. And I hope that you enjoyed this video.